So today I ran to Jensen's down in Corona and I got a handful of goodies. Let me show you what we got. All right, starting out, I need new grips because the grips that came on that bike were trash. And if I'm going to sell the other bike, I'm going to put the least trashed grips on that bike. So these are some DAD Lockjaw. I like these because they have this waffle, which I've always been a fan of that waffle, like on dirt biking and stuff. And it's also got this little diamond, which I've also been a fan of. So I figured, good combo. Kind of like the grips I have on there now, but different. Uh, I seem to go through these too often. I don't know if it's just not running. I don't know. Last time I was out riding on the other bike, I blew a bead because I cased a jump because my rear shock was uh, basically stuck down. So have some extras of those because it hurts. New chain. I got the basically Dior XT chain. Uh, it's supposed to be strong, smooth, whatever, long lasting. Didn't want to spend the extra for the hollow pins because I don't think I need it. We got some uh, head tube spacers. These guys are the wolf tube. I needed some more of these guys because uh, the forks I put on the new bike, uh, I needed to steal some from the old bike. So that way I can get new ones on the new bike. Got a uh, chain whip. And I got the cassette tool. Then I got the new cassette from E13. They're having a sale at Jensen's and this one happened to be on sale. And this is the race version, which is a few grams lighter. Ooh, so neat. Uh, this is a 11 tooth. It's a nine by 46. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Pretty neat. Excited to get this thing all functioning nice and smoothly. I'll be doing a couple rides over the next couple days. So, uh, some Christmas rides, some Christmas Eve rides. i uh, gonna go out to Holder Crooks. Tomorrow I'm gonna go on a run up to Bogart Park with a friend. So I wanna make sure my shit's dialed because my ride yesterday morning, uh, the suspension was great, but the drivetrain was absolute garbage. And also I'm gonna take probably my bike to the bike shop. I normally like to do all my work myself, but I don't want to spend money on tools to bleed SRAM brakes. If the problem I'm having is just SRAM being SRAM, if it's because they need to be bled and it works, then I'm going to stick with the SRAM. But if they're bled right and they still feel like garbage, well, then they're not going to the garbage because I'll sell them. But I'm going to be buying some Shimano XT uh, four pot levers or brakes. All right, so first, let's go ahead and open this guy up. Might as well start with the instructions. This is the first time I've ever had to do a new cassette because I haven't ridden bikes in a while and I've never ridden bikes long enough to warrant it. So yeah, let's do that. So I guess we'll start with the cassette removal instructions. Looks like it's pretty easy. Three millimeter chain whip. Use a little tool. Pop that bad boy off. Let's easy peasy. And then that's the installation. So let's go ahead and start with getting that stuff taken off. Well, the first thing I notice is I don't see any sort of Allen key, any socket cap screw. So maybe this is an older one. This is a 2018 bike. So unless I am just a little special and I don't see it, but I don't see it. So I'm just gonna assume that it doesn't have one. So per instructions, we have our chain whip. Looks pretty straightforward. Got my, this guy, whatever you want to call it. Just spinning around in there. Let's do a little bit of Googling and see. All right, I'm starting to see what's going on. So if you look, this separates. I need to twist this off. Cause the guy was telling me that you may need to have two chain whips that we can pop it, but I'm not gonna buy two chain whips because I am special and I'm gonna do something different. All right, so I took off the old chain and uh, I did some sort of janky stuff to hold that. And then I'm gonna take this chain whip and see if it works. It might, it might not, we'll see. Ugh. Something gave, not sure what, but huh. A little bit of redneck ingenuity. There we go. Stupid 
thing. Weird design. That guy's off. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easier said than done. So cleaning it. It's full of muck and grime. So while that kind of settles, I'm gonna go get a brush so we can brush it clean. Go back to now that we got that cleaned, we got the cassette off. All janky, worn Chromie cassette. It's supposed to be good cassettes, but man, that, well, that prior owner must have just killed it. All right, so grease the driver. Here is the grease. Gonna squirt some on there. Get it all over. Get in there nice and deep like. This, we need this guy. So, we're gonna make sure we get this on there. And this, I don't know if these are indexed in a certain way. Looks like they're pretty universal. So, it looks like it's, it wants us to torque it to three Newton meters. Well, we live in America and I don't know what a Newton meter is. So, I'm gonna do another one of those winging it things. I could probably find the answer but I'm assuming it's pretty minimal. Or I could just say, hey Siri, convert Newton meters to foot pounds. That's probably inch pounds. Here's an answer from Wikipedia. One pound foot equals 1.3558 to Newton meters. Okay, so it's gonna be like, I don't know, two and a half foot pounds, which is like super minimal, which is like probably not much more than I'm already putting on it. Just a nice little snug. So it wants us to put grease all up in this bitch. Let's set that there for now. Let's get some grease on my fingers. Get up in there. Nice and lubricated. All right. Also wants us to put some grease tucked up back in here, it looks like. Or I guess it would be up back in here in these little grooves. So let's go ahead and do that. Clean up some of this extra stuff in the spots that don't need it. So now we need to line this guy up here. lined up looking good looking good chain whip Let's get this chain whip on there hopefully it actually works better this time because I was going in opposite direction and it was just it's easier on the smaller cogs I feel like there we go so what it had me do so it had me line this up with the unlock, and then I twist it, locked in, now I get to set that little set screw. And that is only one Newton meter. That is very minimal. Handy dandy knife. We're gonna go ahead and put this guy in there. Done. Look at that. It's on there. And it looks a lot better than before. That's for sure. Pretty neat. So it turns out I didn't even need this XD driver tool because it just didn't need it. So I have it now. Setting up a chain. Gotta make sure I don't be uh, extra special again and forget to put it on before I put it together. <laughs> Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it out with the old chain and see how many links there are.
there we go. New cassette is on. New chain is on. I let, I'm letting the chain soak with oil a little bit before I wipe it dry. Or not dry, but excess. Also got these new Deity grips on. They are super soft. I and mean, these are pretty soft, but these are just, I think these are a little thicker. I think that's what it is. These are really nice. I like these. But I want to try something different. These are starting to get tacky. But uh, it's time to clean up this mess and dry it all up. Or wipe it all up. <laughs> 